what's up guys Troy ATXRC Productions here um, we're talking today a little bit about solo but we're actually here opening up a package those that are joining us from outside the 3DR solo community which hopefully there are plenty of you guys because we do more than just the solo stuff we are getting into a new area but before that I should tell you what solo is if you don't know solo is a smart drone it's the smart drone it's the future honestly this is what's going to be the stepping stone for the next generation of quadcopters and drones this particular unit is made by 3dr and i have been doing my best to share all of my experiences with that those that don't know from the 3dr community or any of the communities that we're uh jumping into today i started in the ground rc game and in that game, I was into the crawler or scaler scene. Now, in that scene, there's a lot of 3D printing going on. I dabbled here and there with helping some other 3D printers and some designers um, create some product. I also saw tons of product. I learned that there was a very specific way in a couple of guys being able to create a opportunities or being able to help each other create product which was much easier than just one single person and what that was was utilizing each other's strengths so one guy might be great at scanning and designing and the other guy might have a really high high-end quality printer so the guy that can design stuff can help design and prototype and then send over and in bulk print and produce with the high-end printers so I saw this happen and then I got into the air stuff there's tons of 3D printing going on in the aerial game, especially mini quads. A buddy of mine, Robert Wheeler, who is actually Plastic Spider Designs, um, got some printers right around the time me and him met. And um, me and him, he started building his own stuff. And I quickly was giving him ideas on stuff that we could do. We came up with a part or two, and he printed me some stuff. Um, it's a great friendship we've had, and you know, we bounce stuff back and forth. He's great at printing. He actually got in touch with Kenny H. I don't know how to say his last name, so I'm going to call him Kenny H. At Great 3D. I kind of told Robert about this symbiotic relationship that he should start looking for, which was somebody that could produce his ideas, but he come up with the designs. Um, I say all of this because all of this is how I got into what's going to be in this package. For me... I don't need any kind of giant 3D printer. I personally am not going to design a ton of items. I might come up with design ideas and I might fiddle my way through kind of trying to create them. However, I got a couple of buddies that will help me with this. That being said, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Ian Solar ahead of time. Ian Solar, who a lot of guys know, is already a 3D print guy. Um, I reached out and said that I was looking for some help in creating a couple of STLs or if anybody had some already created. Um, man, he whipped up some stuff for me today. <sighs> Amazing. Thank you, Ian. I want you to know seriously from every ounce of within me, man, I really appreciate what you did today. That was tremendous. And that's going to take me to, if you haven't already figured out, there's a 3D printer in here. What 3D printer is an M3D printing, print M3D or M3D printer. It is a micro printer. Before we get into this, I just wanted to say, for me, the reason I explained this story was, I chose this specific printer in what I thought would accomplish my goals. I need something easily stored and easily put away, something that doesn't take up a lot of space because my workspace is, is minimal, um, something that's affordable, something that can produce smallish parts because Nothing I really would want to design is over about four inches, even really three, um, but can do it with a decent amount of detail and allow me to help prototype or and send out parts to be made or help me help somebody else into help design product that whatever. Um, do I plan to print a bunch of stuff off this thing? Not at all. I plan on designing a couple of parts. I have a few ideas already. One that, again, Ian helped me, and it's going to actually print tonight. Um, but I don't really, I mean, this is just for me to play with. So, yes, for the same price or a couple hundred dollars more, I could have got a much larger and better quality machine, supposedly. 
but this fits me. So that's all I want to say. That being said, here we go. I'm going to do an official unboxing. This is the box. Within this box, I am told, is a printer and five to seven rolls of filament. A couple of other little small spare parts and such. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, man. This is actually really exciting. Um, so here we go. So the M3D print or print M3D micro M3D printer. I know I'm butchering this, guys, and I just want to know. <laughs> here we go. Look at the size of this box, by the way. Like I said, there's supposedly a printer and filament and parts. <laughs> we'll see. All right. <clears throat> it says that we've got, all right, here we go. Thanks for purchasing your M3D printer. Instructions on unpacking, remove all tape, bubble wrap, and foam. Make sure all 3D printed parts, including the printer. Please see the unboxing video for the first time set up. You can download the software. All right, simply plug in, connect your micro printer. Yep, you'll upload the STL file, filament, click, and enjoy. All right, pretty straightforward startup, but here we go. Filaments, what did I get? Let's start with the one we know I had to get. Green, solo green if you would. Well, I'll call it solo green. Red, by the way, these are all just right here. The black, blue, these are all PLAs by the way. I did get one black ABS to try. The rest is all PLA. Silver, clear. White Pearl. So PLA, 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 ABS, PLA, 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 PLA. All right. So there we go. Seven, eight rolls. Filament. 1.75 inch. Uh, something like that. And another box inside of a box. All right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Power device. Power. There we go. Printer cable. Basic printer cable. Spare head that I got. what they call tack paper, tack sheets. So boot tack pack three. All right. And da, 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 da. here we go. And of course I had to get solo green or closest thing to it that they had. It is man. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, I'll be honest. It's it's small. And it's light. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. It, it, it's what I thought it was. Um, I mean, I didn't really expect anything too crazy. I will say, no, it doesn't have a heated bed. Um, supposedly there's a guy out there that did a mod on one already. We'll take a look at that down the road. I'm not too concerned about it right off the bat, to be quite honest. Um, remove clips. Before I remove the clips, I gotta remove the tape. Um, like I said, this thing is micro, man. It's made to print small items. Oh, okay. I get it now. They have 3D printed clips. Aha. That's funny. They 3D printed their own clip. 
I like that, man. I like your style, M3D. All right. Move clips. Now, this thing supposedly self-calibrates, self-levels, all that, man. And again, this is why I, I chose this unit was it's supposed to be plug it in, turn it on. It calibrates itself, throw an STL in it, and hit print. It's not going to be the fastest. It's supposed to have a pretty clean resolution. Um, it does print PLA, and supposedly it doesn't really like ABS, even though they sell the ABS. They don't recommend it, but uh, I'm going to say that this is probably the PLA, and it's pretty cool, man. It's uh, solid. Anyways, cool. So if those are PLA, then cool. Um, yeah, so that's our unboxing video. Um, I did build, and I'll just show it right now, is up on the screen, I did build a very small... Um, 10 by 10 square. I used some screws, some standoffs, and then hot glued it to a shelf that was all perfectly level. Um, so I do have a nice little setup that I'm going to be placing this thing on above my PC and be able to uh, just let it run. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Troy ATXRC Productions again. So we woke up, and here we go. We got our first print. Um, we'll put it up on the screen pics real quick just to show you what we printed. Um, again, thanks to Ian Solar who designed this part for me um, just to get it up and going and Man, I got a lot to learn. I got to learn this CAD stuff man and get this stuff tweaked, but um, The design that we came up with or I came up with was a motor pod um, Extension if you would for the LED light cover and my goal is to provide a space to originally it was gonna be Put an addressable LED strip that you could then piggyback off the motor pod LED uh, addressable LED connections and hopefully put an external LED strip outside that was doing everything that the internal strip uh, the internal LEDs were doing inside the pod. Um, this was for orientation and being able to see this thing at further distances and, and higher altitudes and out. Um, and doing some chatting with Philip Rouse, our head LDE of 3DR, um, comes to find out you can't piggyback the wiring harness. I thought that the wiring harness contained the signals, possibly. He says that everything's actually driven off the board, so he gave me some ideas as to how to do it. But for now, <clears throat> what we did was we created the motor pod extension or I mean the LED pod extension for the bay to add just any kind of external strip. Now you might ask yourself, well, if you put a strip on there, how are you gonna power it? That's where I implore all you guys that are doing the mods to obviously open up your motor pods. Inside you'll notice that you should be able to piggyback off the power, the negative and the positive power into in going into the ESC pod. So that's what my plan would be. If I was going to add an LED strip on the outside, I'm going to add an LED strip. I'm going to run the wire inside and into the pod and then connect it uh, solder point to the actual motor pod itself. Or even better would be to strip away the shrink tubing and directly wire it to the bullet connector on solo side. That way, when you go to change a motor pod, you can actually leave the strip off pull the pot out, unplug it, plug it back in, and you're actually piggybacking off the solo side. Uh, but that would be just the way that I would possibly do it. So, there we are, guys. Um, M3D, printed piece. <clears throat> I'll tell you that, yes, <clears throat> I had some setup last night. Just me messing around and not knowing what was going on. It was printing a raft and I'm like, that's not the design and I stopped it. Well, that's just a raft, I should have left it. And what I mean by raft is this piece, and I'll sh you'll see it, here's a picture. This piece actually gets printed on the bed and then the piece actually pulls away from it. So that's what I meant. So there we go. Fly safe, fly smart, fly 3D off, print M3D. Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to quickly just say, um, any of you guys interested in the printer, M3, print M3D.com. Um, check it out. Use the link though below if you don't mind, please. Um, yes, it gives me a little support and takes care of uh, helping me get some supplies if you would. So um, 
they're supporting me in a little bit and I just really want to support them. So please utilize my affiliate link down below. Anybody that buys a printer from these guys, you can actually join their affiliate program really easily and quickly. Um, and it's another way just to kind of recoup a little bit of your money. Um, that being said, guys, I never push anything. Even if I'm an affiliate of their uh, company, I'm only an affiliate if I really truly believe in it. So, um, you know, not pushing something I don't believe in. So y'all uh, have a great day. Enjoy flying, man. Fly safe, fly smart. Fly 3D art, print in 3D. Please. Oh, my God.